Did you know that Terraform Labs or TFL recently announced changes to its operations? This comes in the wake of a court ruling related to the SEC's case against the company. Now that's a development worth delving into. On April 25th, TFL revealed it expects to receive a conduct injunction that will bar it from certain activities in the US. As a consequence, the company is preparing to bar US users from accessing some products and features starting the week of April 28th. TFL, in a rather frank admission, called this development frustrating and stated it is against geoblocking as a matter of principle. However, it seems the company has no choice but to adapt. Now, what's interesting is that these policy changes will not affect some projects. Alliance, an open source Cosmos SDK module, and the Terra blockchain itself, for example, will continue as is. But there's more. TFL also has to withdraw liquidity from positions on various platforms due to this impending injunction. The company announced it will start withdrawing liquidity worth approximately $23.8 million across three platforms, Astroport, Eura, and White Whale. On April 26th, each position is a Luna pair. And where will the withdrawn Luna tokens be stored, you ask? TFL plans to store them in a multisig account through the bankruptcy proceedings. This brings us to the SEC's involvement. The SEC filed charges against Terraform Labs in February of 2023. The trial kicked off in March, and by early April, a jury found Terra and its former CEO Do Kwan liable for fraud. Subsequently, on April 19th, the SEC requested various injunctions against the defendants. The restrictions include limitations on each party's ability to purchase, offer, and sell crypto asset securities, including but not limited to Luna. The SEC also proposed barring the defendants from inducing other parties into such transactions. Along with these injunctions, the SEC requested monetary fines and penalties, totaling a staggering $5.3 billion. Despite all this, Terraform continues to operate and offer certain products. This is in spite of its bankruptcy and the collapse of its stablecoin, TerraUSD, which depegged from the dollar in May of 2022. So, to sum it up, Terraform Labs is facing a conduct injunction, barring US users from specific products and features, withdrawing liquidity from various platforms, and dealing with SEC injunctions and proposed fines. Yet in the face of adversity, it continues to operate. It's a twist-filled saga and it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds.